friends, my dear masters, my dear gods, namaste to all. My sincere pronouns to my Guruji, Pramarsi Patriji. Friends, today our session is about, our topic is Mukti. What is Mukti? What is Moksha? What are the ways for liberation? Mukti Marga. It's called Mukti Marga. Today's our topic is what are the ways for liberation? What are the ways for Mukti? So let us understand this topic in more detailed way. It's a very highly essential topic in our daily life, for our spiritual life. The great concept in spiritual wisdom, my dear friends. Let us understand this word Mukti Marga, Mukti Marga, the ways for liberation. Mukti plus Marga. It means there is one word called Mukti, there is another word, other word is Marga. Mukti means liberation, salvation, Nisvesh, Aparivarga, release. These are the synonyms for Mukti. Ways, liberation. Again, I repeat, liberation, salvation, release, nisresh. So these are the day, all the synonyms for the bhakti. Marga means ways. So what are the ways for getting release or getting salvation, getting liberation, my dear friends? That is called marga. So let us, let us understand first what is mukti. Then afterwards we'll discuss what are the ways for mukti. Okay. Now, so this mukti, the opposite word from mukti is bandha. We are in the bandha or we are in the mukti. These are two words. From what are the things we have to get released? What are the things we need to get liberation means? We have three things, my dear friends. We need to understand. We need to get released or we need to get mukti from body, mind, buddhi. There are three things we need to understand. Anybody who need to live, we wanted to live happily with ananda, with lot of bliss, joyful. If you, might, if you would like to live in this world, what are the three things essential is, you should not have the bodily diseases should also come out of all mind-related illness. You also should have it, the highest amount of buddhi. These three, are, these three things are essential for us. It means body is suffering from a lot of diseases. You can never be happy. You are suffering from body diseases. Different diseases will be there. You are suffering already. So you will be in dukkha. Mukti means having no sadness, having no unhappiness, having no suffering. That is called Mukti. The suffering can be any type, body, mind, buddhi. Buddhi means lack of buddhi or how much amount of buddhi you are having. Less, more, high, very high. If you have less buddhi, what happens? You, will, you are not understanding that you are not this body, you are the soul. You don't have that uh, buddhi. That is called lack of buddhi. Intellect. You can say lack, lack of intellect. So hence, we need to come out of these three issues. Bodily issues, mind related issues and buddhi related. Then only we will be able to live happily in this world. So you have to get release or you have to get mukti from the first from body disease, bodily disease. You have to get mukti that is release, moksha. So mukti also in, in three, three, uh, three different types. Getting release from body disease, getting release from mind related, getting release from buddhi. So 
so as per kapila kapila mahamarshi kapila maharshi what is said kama artha dharma moksha kama artha dharma moksha that is the final state is moksha if you come out of all these three then you will enter into moksha you will be knowing in one of the great statement in bhagavad gita bhagavad gita refers to three qualities my dear friends tamo rajo satvika guna what is tamo guna if you are living the body if you are suffering in the body that is called tamo guna if you are suffering in the mind it means mind related dukha manasika manasika dukha you are suffering you are li- you are living in the rajo guna tamo guna rajo guna satvika guna try to understand if somebody is suffering in the diseases with the body in the body itself he is leading he is living in tamo guna somebody is suffering so mind related depression anxiety stress fear all these is related to the mind so if you are living in that state you will be under rajo guna satvika guna what is satvika guna having buddhi but not sufficient lack of buddhi that is also one of the guna satvika guna you will help you will be helping others not not beyond some point you cannot help others you should not help you can teach them you cannot take their suffering on to your head that is not the correct buddhi you must have good quality satvika guna is good but need not it need not to be beyond some extent you can't create their reality you everybody is responsible for their own reality we create our own reality so these three gunas we have to come out of these three gunas then only you it leads to the liberation it leads to the mukti if you want to get salvation liberation from all these three type of three types of dukkha mind body buddhi that is called dukkha rahitya sthiti dukkha ra dukkha rahitya your sadness unhappiness suffering everything is gone out of your life if you come out of these three these, these three sufferings we have to become nirguna once you come out of tamo rajo satvika then you become nirguna that is more important that is what everybody need to achieve in their life you should become nirguna always friends we need to rem- remember one statement by jesus christ seek ye the kingdom of god is righteousness is righteousness all else will be all else shall be added to your life it means if you are living in the kingdom of the god if you are living the truth if you are living in the righteousness whatever you need whatever you wanted everything will come to your life hence we need to become nirguna we need to get salvation means we need to get into nirguna that is most important point a person comes out of zone dukkha that means he understand by his own sadhana what are the ways we will discuss the ways of liberation separately once he come out of his own dukkha all this mind body and intellect all these three things if he come out of once he come out of then he get mukti is called moksha that is only the way you need to come out of bodily diseases mind related and lack of buddhi you have to come out of all these three things then you get mukti moksha 
once you come out of these three things you once you get a mukti you also need to think about your surroundings your near and dear ones that is also important if they are unhappy if they are suffering that comes to you also it will affect you your life you can't be happy if surrounding people are unhappy surrounding surrounding people are suffering your near and dear and dear ones in your family somebody is suffering a body dis bodily disease a mental disease or it doesn't have buddhi is acting is acting below the intellect what will happen it gives suffering to you also then you have to work towards their salvation you have to make them to understand to you have to make them to realize the truth you have to teach them they also need to come to the state of moksha state of salvation that is called parimukti that is called parimukti if you work with the if you work towards the salvation of near and dear ones in your family in your surroundings at the same time you need to worry about you need to take care of the entire world when you get moksha mukti you got already parimukti then you are going to work for the entire world since your near near and dear ones you are you are happy your near and dear ones are happy both are both have realized the truth but what about the entire world out of your house beyond your house the society is already suffering too much to bring them out of this suffering dukkha then what you are supposed to do you supposed to teach others teach the society go into society give them the give them the sadhana give them the methods to come out of this uh, dukkha unhappiness suffering for the entire world then you get maha parimukti mukti parimukti maha parimukti yourself near and dear ones the entire prapancha gautam buddha said the same thing in different words nirvana parinirvana maha parinirvana if somebody gets mukti or moksha he gets into dukkha rahitya once you get maha parimukti that means maha parinirvana that leads to janma rahitya it means you don't have further births no further birth and death you cannot come out of this law of, in, law of incarnation there is no incarnation further once you get maha parinirvana maha parimukti so everyone must achieve maha parinirvana gautam buddha has achieved gautam siddhartha has got moksha went in search of truth then he got mukti moksha then he started teaching near 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 and dear ones his own disciples first started teaching he started teaching the only disciples first at first after he got nirvana then he started teaching the entire world about dhyana about meditation about ahimsa these are his major teachings meditation ahimsa to the entire world my dear friends that is why he got maha parinirvana he became gautam buddha our soul aim of pssm pyramid social societies movement mahavatar foundation our soul aim is to make everybody to achieve everybody maha parinirvana everybody to become buddha in his own life or next life all depends on your own sadhana your practice hence your sadhana also of the various stages depends upon your sadhana you get these three stages 
ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಪರಿಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮಹಾಪರಿಮುಕ್ತಿ ನಿರ್ವಾಣ ಪರಿನಿರ್ವಾಣ ಮಹಾಪರಿನಿರ್ವಾಣ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ಟು ಅಚೀವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಾಧನ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಸಾಧನ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ at the same time you need to understand whenever you get mukti you started teaching others with your moksha you are started started teaching others once you come out of your own sufferings bodily mind mentally with the buddhi when you come out of all these things then you are killing all your said workers you are you are getting out of the said vargas ari said vargas that means there are six qualities in every one of us kama krodha loba moha mada macharya there are six qualities in everybody they are called ari said vargas when you get moksha when you are liberated you are liberated from these six qualities arishad vargas then you become arihant what is the meaning of arihant arihant means your enemies all these six are your enemies the you, your inner enemies these six arishad vargas are your inner enemies you are killing the enemies all these enemies you are winning over them that is called arihant you are called as arihant you got mukti once you come out of this you become you become harihant then what you are supposed to do you started teaching your near and dear ones to transform their life to give, to give them the base for moksha realization salvation liberation then you are called as bodhisattva then the next stage once you become bodhisattva your purpose of transforming the entire society the entire world you started doing efforts you ne- you never relax you never take rest until the entire world is getting transformed that state he is called buddha buddhihood buddhahood we call it as buddhahood he becomes a buddha there are three stages my dear friends arihanta bodhisattva buddha the same way mukti parimukti mahaparimukti nirvana parinirvana mahaparinirvana so every one of us should become buddha that is the purpose of life if someone is talking unnecessarily he is resorting to some violence what you need to do you need to te- you need to inform them you need to give this knowledge to them wisdom to them whether they follow or not that is up to them you don't need to worry but if you are not doing this that is not your dharma what is dharma whatever you know whatever is righteousness you must teach others that is called dharma if you don't do that you will not get into the mahaparinirvana it means you have no you are not become buddha you are keeping quiet by seeing others suffering and my dear friends we also need to teach this from childhood for our children all this wisdom has to be taught to them from the childhood so the so that their life is going in a righteous way and they they lead their life with a great meaning the great purpose always they live in jo- joyful state no fear no anxiety no stress no question of 
lack of confidence and they have the great amount of patience with them <coughs> so this is so essential wisdom that is why so mukti marga moksha marga has to be given to the child children our children from the right from the childhood that is what the swami vivekananda mother has done for him he became a, the great spiritual monk spiritual leader world leader my dear friends so let's understand what are the ways for this liberation we now we tried understanding moksha what is moksha what is bandhana to release from moksha you are out of bandhana if you are not getting moksha that means you are in the bandhana you are stuck physically mentally at your intellect you have to, you have to come out of all these three things become nirguna become yogi yogi bhava arjuna my dear friends we try to understand what are the ways for liberation what are the different ways for liberation there are simple three simple ways for liberation my dear friends one is dhyana sadhana second is swadhyaya sadhana third one is satsanga satsanga sadhana sajjana sangatya as we discussed in the previous uh, sessions very much dhyana sadhana the first one is dhyana sadhana you must be doing these three things only these three things in your daily life to get moksha to get liberation my dear friends there are no other ways for it when you are doing sadhana dhyana sadhana as we know the meditation will we keep practicing it when we are keep practicing practicing it what happens how do you get mukti how do you get moksha the first thing happens with a practice of meditation is you get lot of cosmic energy in your body when you get more amount of cosmic energy what will happen you get nadi suddhi you nadi suddhi will happen in inside you it means lot of diseases all the physical diseases will get vanished because of the flow of cosmic energy your prana shakti your pranamaya kosha in etheric body whatever our past life karmas are stored inside it try to remember always all your nadi asuddhi it means the impurities in the nadis energy blocks all are created because of your past life karmas negative karmas my dear friends పూర్వ జన్మ కృతం పాపం వ్యాధి రూపాన పీడ్యతే పూర్వ జన్మ కృతం పాపం వ్యాధి రూపేణ పీడ్యతే ఇట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ ఆల్ యువర్ పాస్ట్ లైఫ్ పాపం మీన్స్ సెన్స్ యు ఆర్ కమిటెడ్ యూర్ ఆల్ స్టోర్డ్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ బ్లాక్స్ ఇన్ సెట్ యువర్ ప్లానింగ్ బాడీ ఎత్రిక్ బాడీ ఆల్ దిస్ విల్ బీ గెట్ క్లీన్ ఇన్ ద మెడిటేషన్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ first you will come out of bodily diseases that is the first step in the first way of liberation my dear friends you are liberating from your bodily issues body diseases bodily diseases that is the first step you are coming out of it because of your own sadhana because of your own meditation the second thing what happens rajoguna the first one is tamoguna you are coming coming out of tamoguna you are coming out of bodily issues then due to sadhana if you are keep increasing your sadhana then what happens you will become dukkha rahitya that means all the mind related issues can be anxiety fear stress lack of confidence lot of unhappiness impatience himsa all these things all these qualities are rajoguna qualities you will come out of all this mental mental is mental qualities mental issues mental diseases very easily my dear friends through your sadhana 
consistent practice. The third one is you will also get a lot of intellect. You will become intelligent by doing more and more practice of meditation. You get your astral body, astral body released from your physical body. You make a lot of journey, astral travel you do to the different lokas with a deep meditation practice. You will achieve that state, my dear friends. Then you will understand I am not this body. I am a soul. I am Atma. You will, when you will understand this, that means you got the great intellect now. The highest amount of intellect you achieve. Then you will also come out of that the buddhi mandya, lack of buddhi. You will also come out of that, my dear friends. It means dhyana, meditation is the best way of liberation. That is one of the highest path, the golden path for, for liberation, my dear friends. Moksha, to get moksha. So everyone must practice this meditation to get into moksha, to get into mukti. The second one is swadhyaya. One must practice this reading of books of great masters. Lopsam Rampa, Osho Rajnis, Swami Vivekananda, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, Lahari Mahasya, Anibishant, Leadbeater, Ramana Maharshi, what not, so many, so many, so many masters, great masters have written their highest state of wisdom. They have kept in the books. You must read the books. Then you will get Many, 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 many questions answered through the books also. It will give you the highest state of, state of wisdom. Then you will get moksha, you will get into liberation easily. This is one of the methods, my dear friends. One of the ways for liberation. Everyone must practice this on a daily basis. Spend some time for reading books. All these spiritual books, write books to help your sadhana to become stronger and stronger on, the, on your inner journey, on your meditation practice. The next way for liberation is, my dear friends, Sajan Sangatya. It means Satsang. We call it as Satsang. Satsang. It means you need to be with the people who know the truth, the people who are trying to know the truth, who are on the progress of Spirituality, you must be with them. You must spend your time on, on a daily basis, either on the conversation of call or in the conversation of direct one-to-one -one communication. Be in person. Be in the purview of the consciousness of the people who already know the truth. They are called Sajjana. People who know the truth they are called Sajjana. Sajjana Sangatya. You must spend your time with them, my dear friends. It means meet the, meet the master physically. Understand. Take his uh, all teachings. Solve your, all your questions. That is the only way. That is the third, third, that is the third way for the liberation, my dear friends. Friends, we understood now the what is moksha, what is mukti, and then what are the ways for liberation. So let us practice to get liberated ourselves. On a daily basis, we are practicing meditation. So friends, now we'll go for the practice of meditation. See all the newcomers, all the new joiners, follow my guidelines and the other others who know already meditation, go into meditation, my dear friends. Now, this is a time for meditation already. So let's go into the meditation. Switch off your lights. Switch off your lights, switch off your mobiles, make your room darker, convenient, conducive, no more disturbance from outside. Switch off your mind, no more thoughts are required. Sit comfortably. You can take rest of back support with a chair or a floor or the wall. Sit on the floor, sit on the bed. 
sit in the chair, whichever is convenient to you. Clasp your fingers, cross your feet, your feet, one feet to other feet, it must touch, one hand to other hand, fingers into fingers. Close your eyes, my dear friend, close your eyes, remove your spectacles. Close your eyes. Just observe the natural breath. Your inhalation and exhalation happening naturally. Just observe it. Be with that. Be with the natural flow of breath. That is called meditation. This is Anapanasati meditation. Ana means in-breathe. Apana means out-breathe. Sati means be with them. We are going to do the wonderful meditation, my dear friends, today. We are entering into the kingdom of the God through the meditation. God is inside you. God is everywhere. To reach the God, to reconnect your soul, your inside, inside your God, to reconnect, meditation is the only way. Dhyana. Now this is the time to reconnect your own God. You are already God, my dear friends. You don't need to suffer for anything. Even there is a suffering. Maintain your equilibrium, equilibrium state, balanced state. With your practice, you come to know, with your enlightenment, you come to know what is the reason for suffering in your own life, in others' life as well. There is no question of no more unhappiness, no more suffering, once you know the reason for that. Be with your friend, be with your breath, be with your natural breath.
last one minute my dear friends final one minute be with your breath last one minute Last thirty seconds. Final thirty seconds. Last ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Place your both hands on your eyes. Five, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Slowly remove your hands. Slowly open your eyes. Slowly open your eyes. So yes, friends. So we have done wonderful meditation. We have a wonderful concept today about mukti and mukti marga. Yes. So I would like to give a small holistic health tip regarding the wheat, wheat consumption in our daily life. So what is wheat? What is we call it as a godi, right? The wheat powder, the wheat, the godi, right? So friends, this wheat is, has been promoted by all the Western countries in a big manner. because of you know they want to sell their chemical fertilizers and pesticides basically so what happens is in our country also there was a origins of this wheat or jawari godi it was there but it has been slowly slowly uh, disappeared right so that was the excellent uh, godi it was there so afterwards what happened this uh, modern scientist agriculture scientist have promoted this in a bigger way in about 1970s 1980s in our india also because all these fertilizers companies they got the huge amounts of these chemical fertilizers which were the remainings of the world war 2 right so that uh, fertilizers have been produced from the world war 2 the the remainings okay so to sell this they have made a very big plan to promote this godi in a bigger way my dear friends so there are few disadvantages of this uh, many of course many disadvantages and lot of health problems you will get by consuming this wheat on a regular basis my dear friends so this wheat is having something called gluten okay and also it needs lot of chemicals lot of water to to get this crop uh, in a in the uh, agriculture okay so it needs lot of water compared to rice compared to the millets like it needs more water for example to get 1 kg of rice will be requiring about uh, somewhere about 8000 liters and to get 1 kg of uh, godi you may need about uh, 12 13000 liters per 1 kg right likewise if you see to get 1 kg of meat we may be spending about 50000 liters my dear friends is very bad of course the non vegetarian is very bad we have been telling go with the vegetarian food so anyway so this godi is going to grow they are getting this crop with a high amount of water consumption high amount of chemicals without chemical fertilizers it doesn't grow properly right so because of more chemicals they use so you won't get a, a, a organic godi or you get a, the whatever the godi is available in a present times most of the godi or wheat is grown in the punjab in the surrounding areas wherever that uh, sitra that means which wherever the cool places they will grow that so in punjab you know after started they started growing and they started eating the recent times you can notice there is something called cancer express which runs from punjab to delhi or 
Rajasthan, I think. So that express carries only the cancer patients. You can imagine how much cancer patients have increased by uh, by wheat consumption regularly by Punjabis, right? So it's very dangerous to have this uh, godi and wheat. And nowadays, what happened? This wheat, because of this godi, is grown very heavily. So they have been converted into bread, and you know they have converted into all a lot of products they have made out of it. And to get this godi converted into wheat powder, what they are doing is they are using the chemical called aloxin. So this is very dangerous chemical. So they are using that and they are converting into uh, in different formats. The uh, ata, you can, you can say like ata, you are purchasing outside, right? This asirvad ata, whatever you are purchasing, you, they use this chemical for us to process the body into powder, my dear friends, which is very very dangerous chemical, which is going to spoil your uh, the so-called intestine, large intestine and small intestine. Okay, and what will happen is in the in the godi, in the wheat, there is a, something called gluten. The gluten is one of the protein which is widely available in the wheat. What is going to do? It is very, uh, I mean, very. Uh, you can say like a, a dangerous protein which is going to block, which is going to damage your adrenaline and uh, the kind of uh, pancreas, your thyroid gland, all this will get affected, okay? And any patients who are taking this as a diet in your uh, diet plan uh, because of suggestion of doctors uh, on your daily basis, all the diabetic patients, they are eating this, they become much more, they become, their diabetes will never decrease and they will be a permanent patients for the doctor. For the diabetic doctor, my dear friends. So, which is dangerous. Actually, what happens? Because of this gluten presence in the wheat, it is going to avoid, it is going to re reduce the pancreas production of insul insulin. The insulin will be product produced by the pancreas. Slowly, slowly, it, its uh, insulin production will get reduced because of the continuous eating of this uh, godi and because of the gluten presence. So, the this is some, some kind of a sticky for example, why godi is promoted to make sapachi, chapatis and rotis because it's a uh, some kind of a, uh, you know, like you can say like elasticity, elasticity. You'll be able to easily make chapatis and if you take the ragi in the place, in the place of millet, in the place of godi, what we need to do, we need to promote millets, right? Ragi, jowar and bajra, uh, you can say sajje, this, use these, th these things. And also in godi, there's less amount of fiber, my dear friend, that also you need to note down. The amount of fiber is also less. Your rice will have about um, very less, 0.3 grams or something, and wheat, wheat will have little more, maybe one gram out of uh, one gram or two grams out of 100 grams. And your millets have eight to 12, gra 12 grams of uh, fiber component inside the millets. So the highly uh, useful and uh, in the replacement of wheat, always go for the rotis. Rotis made with the ragi, uh, jowar, and uh, sajje. Go with this. Uh, uh, food, then you'll be, you'll become healthy. You can come out of your diabetes easily, my dear friends. The chapatis diet for diabetic patients is not at all recommended. It is opposite to the actual diet. That is not the diet for the diabetic patients. Friends, so thank you. Thank you for this holistic uh, tip which we discussed today. Yeah. Please go ahead if uh, you, you want to say your experience and uh, any clarifications? Uh, sir, good morning, Niranjan. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, sir, Jave Godi uh, is, is a local, no? it's an Indian uh, yes, food. Correct. Yes, correct. It's, where is our, uh, this one like uh, the growing very, in Karnataka? Very, or some? Very, very rarely, and it will be in the part of North Karnataka, somewhere they are doing. So okay. uh, it's very rarely available, not like uh, selling in a uh, market and all, no? they are not selling properly. Okay, okay. So you, should but consult, you should consult the farmers and get it actually. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, even uh, to compared to our, our uh, this one, like you know, North Indian uh, wheat, is yeah. our Java Godi is very good, having very good, good uh, you know, uh, fiber content. And it's totally different. It's like, you know, look like you know, rice only, that is. Right. Right. Very hard uh, things. Very hard and has got a good amount of fiber and uh -huh. no, no, not much chemicals required. So what happens is, the, is all the godi what we are presently growing, it is actually growing with the high amount of fertilizers and also it is a sankara jati. That means it is a hybrid. It is not actual original one. Okay. Correct. That is the problem we are facing today. Mm, the farmers are promoted. Agriculture scientists are behind this and uh, government is behind this. Only they wanted money, they wanted production, all that. They are not looking into the health and uh, well-being of the human be humanity. 
anyway they have to give business to pharmaceutical industry also no? that's why yes. they are doing it pharmaceutical <laughs> industries and the other side is pharmaceutical industries fertilizer industries pesticide industries yeah you they need to get more gst more taxes collection they are not <laughs> about, they are not worried about your health and well being correct correct yes okay thank you for the information yes 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 right so ashok babu silaure Uh, very good morning sir uh, today topic was very nice and uh, all are meditated they are getting late so they are going to yeah no problem close, sir. Uh, they will got close will close yeah. in another 2 minutes yeah yeah, yeah sir nice uh, actually i i am connecting too much uh, this uh, uh, topic sir and uh, after listening this topics no medit uh, when we do meditation no we'll uh, connect with the topic and our meditation will go very deeply and uh, i am also observing lot of uh, lights and everything before i was doing meditation 3 uh, to 4 hours but still i didn't get any like uh, experiences we now within 20 minutes i am getting experience sir i am okay. connecting lot yes 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 yeah. because uh, what happens you know these topics are very lengthy mm-hmm. cover in a short time if i just say let's say if i cover 25% and leave it you will be in the confusion yes you don't Today topic that. actually you have to continue tomorrow also sir because uh, this is very big topic and uh, we have that, to... is why, that is why i am trying to close in the short time what is available of 30 minutes i am trying to cover to the extent possible right so mm-hmm. to make everyone to understand what is this mukti what are the base of liberation what are the base for mukti i'm trying to make everybody to understand at least to follow in their daily life mm-hmm. to the required level mm-hmm. so if you go into the deeper and deeper then it takes one full day one half day so you need to spend for this mm-hmm. okay. yes, sir and this jave godi we are using sir uh, it is bit costly Uh, 90 rupees kg we are getting but uh, it is very nice sir we are using we will get from north karnataka yes yeah it is very nice sir it is very nice and it's uh, basically uh, the uh, original godi i can say mm-hmm. original godi you will your health will be good not a problem and you will have good fi- amount of fiber yeah, definitely sir we are looking uh, lot of changes and, uh, no question of using higher amount of chemicals you know, mm-hmm. you know to grow this uh, you know you don't need much fertilizers so that's a advantage so many times many places in our supermarkets and all it's not available much so that is why people not using it and also little costly people are hesitate to use it but they spend huge amount of money for the testing so diagnosis and treatments and hospitals and doctor they are they are very happy to pay the bills instead of paying the health to the food you know the quality food organic food holistic food they won't spend money they spend money for the hospitals they are very much happy to do that i don't know there's all about their karma karmas mm-hmm. actually no sir, actually sometimes no the people are uh, saying that i i met uh, this big doctor i met this doctor yeah. that is also proud for them i did you uh, know <laughs> in a private hospital operation i i don't know some <laughs> <laughs> definitely definitely because uh, they, some, some people say family doctor i don't understand what is family doctor means <laughs> <laughs> that's permanent doctor uh, that means permanent, <laughs> permanent, uh, permanent disability i think it's a permanent disability <laughs> yeah? permanent disease right yes <laughs> and uh, diabetic patients are being diabetic patients slowly slowly uh, they get into yes, cancer yes. you mm. know uh, slowly slowly they give first medicine small dose small dose increase dose and then get, they get into the you know uh, kind of a insulin so slow dose small dose and bigger dose and then slowly get into no it's not possible it's not controlling let's do one yeah. thing then increase more insulin then slowly what happen they get gangrene they cut up the limbs they cut up the food they cut up the you know all these things they get into gangrene then after that slowly there uh, by using continuous medicine what happen your kidney will be spoiled then kidney slowly, will, uh, slowly they increase the dialysis they put the dialysis into and slowly that also will not happen it will fail and then people will vacate the body so it's a it's a like you know one to other a lot of repercussions are there it's well connected all are interconnected yes mm, connected so that is why the people have to get realize the truth they have to no they have to work with the truth so they have to understand the truth then they will come out of on their own 
So this uh, will not come by, you know, the kind of uh, from doctors, from hospitals, the wellness will not come. Health will not come. True, true. Thing. Yeah. This became a health care system instead of health care system. Health care, correct, correct. Health care. Health care, <laughs> health care. Yes. So, yes, uh, Sumangala. Varsha. So, yes, friends. Anyway, so we got late now already. So, okay. thank you, my dear friends. So, namaste to all. So, we'll be meeting tomorrow at the same time with a wonderful concept and we will practice meditation. Namaste. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ramasasa.